Las Conchas fire, they doubled the amount of acres that burned. We're at it in terms of rural jobs. We're at it in terms of so many things. But I feel like if you could get a legitimate restoration project going, which maybe the Hamas one is, it's trying to be the big one, that you could begin to shift the entire dialogue from weapons, military, military fossil fuels, to restoration, natural fuels, I think we're right there. When I was talking about Tom Udall, I don't think that's that far off for Tom to understand this. He's a very good man. He's not, he doesn't, he doesn't lead the creative charge, but I think if Tom were given enough, you know, people talking to him and enough impetus, he could actually go there. And I think one senator from the West <coughs> could change this dialogue. I think that's where we're at. It, I, and I agree with you, but I, the, the crisis is there, but I think the crisis we are seeing is there. It appears to be a fragmented crisis, and it isn't. So I think that the solutions bring it back into a, a unity that isn't that scary then to look at. It's real scary now to look at, but anyway. Yeah? Shred of hope. Uh, I happen to work part-time over at Santa Fe Community College, which is heated. I don't know what percent, but it is largely heated with biomass in the winter, which is a good start. If more large institutions could get on board, that would be great. And they also have the sustainable technologies right. building with classes, training young people. Right. And young people want to do it. Their jobs may not be there yet, but, they, but they're still getting the education in that. Right. Very good point. Um, Santa Fe Community College has a giant biomass burner system. It was really badly engineered. It, it went it through the learning curve. They're, they're, they're getting really better, better now. Um, and to that point, and the Sustainable Technology Center, they now have these um, units from Berkeley that are combined heat and power units that make 10 kilowatts of electricity, 20 kilowatts of heat, out of a $28,000 unit. That's enough to run five houses quite easily. So that's 6,000 per household. So these units are really getting good. Um, I think the discussion, we have to change the laws in Santa Fe to begin to create legitimate renewable energy. Right now, all of our renewable energy simply sits on PNM's coal-fired grid. It does nothing about it. It doesn't change it one bit. They're still burning the Four Corners plant at the same rate they always were. Santa Fe has to create a municipal grid and go entirely renewable sources of energy. That requires our city council and county commission to change the law. They're terrified of PNM, as far as I can tell. So they're going, no, we just won't do that. This, the other thing in that is that, and I think this gets into Udall's, um, well, really all of our consciousness, we have to create energy that doesn't consume water. The coal-fired power plants on the San Juan River consume 55,000 acre feet a year of fresh river water. It's an unbelievable figure. But you're quite right that there are small projects that have started and they're going to be you know, what we have to grow on. Let's see, back here, Betty. What happened to the one plus million grant that you got? Did you have to return the money? No, we, we spent it all. We spent it on studies. We spent it on a lot of, you know, we created an entity to run it. We, we hired the engineers. We did the engineering analysis. We did a lot of, we spent the money. The plan is still totally free. It belongs to any entity that wants to take it. I mean, we did it, we tailored it for Santa Fe. This is also when natural gas was hitting $16 a therm. Now with fracking, it's dropped way down again. So there were some complexities within that also. But yeah, the money was all spent, and I think quite legitimately. 